Hey everyone, Jargus here, welcome back to Budokai 3. Now, a lot of the stories we have to redo to see the extra events, mostly revolve around the Boo Saga. The majority of them. Vegeta isn't one of them. But his Saiyan Saga is pretty much exactly the same as before. So I'm not going to bother talking about that very much. Instead, I'm just going to show off Omega Shenron since we got him last time. Yeah, basically, I used him to open the Advanced World Tournament that we also got. And what happened is... Well, that can be very difficult to fight the, the opponents no matter who you use. But I used his Sparking Capsule with him. For, which, the one with six exclamation points. And that multiplies your World Tournament winnings by 5. So 5 times 50,000 is, well, 250. So that's 125,000 if you get 2nd place. It's even better than doing the add-up tournament, because 5 times the 30 would still be, what, 150? So yeah, that's a very efficient way of making money. Even more efficient than when I was using. Oh no you don't, Goku. Anyway, as I was saying. It's even more efficient than Gohan's Dragon Universe. And I miss. So I've done that several times over to get every ability capsule. Except for three, because we're going to get them in Dragon Universe. So I determined how I'm going to get them the first time. I have every item, but not nine of them, which is the max you can get, and almost all of the equipment, the green equipment capsules. So yeah, as you can see in the corner, this is showing my last successful, well, semi-successful run with Mega Shenron. And Omega Shenron only has two attacks. One key wave and one of Dragon Thunder. Dragon Thunder is a garbage move. You will never hit with it. Because it's just such a delay where it just causes lightning to hit character. But unless they're worn out from fatigue, that's never going to happen. And then we're doing Vegeta now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I was saying. We're doing Vegeta now simply because, well, he has the most extra content. I believe he has two additional endings, in addition to what we're doing right now. And all around the Boo Saga. But we're also going to do the Cell Saga because, well, there's events like there that we didn't get to see before. Plus a new thing on Namek. Plus after how horribly I did against Android 18, I think it's time for a rematch. Anyway, oh, that's just an item. Or it's part of the story. There it is, Dodoria. Aw, oh, that should have been voice. Oh well. But you always get his final impact move from that. Now, Vegeta has a lot of battles. That's partially why his level is so high. And also it's partly that high because... I grinded through a story mode a few times to get some castles. As well as part of that you get two all max level ups. So there's that. There's also a, th a thing I've seen with Zarbon. I think I skipped that, but oh well. So yeah, Vegeta's my most level up character. And even with him, I had a horrible time fighting against enemies on Z difficulty. 
So we're not doing that yet. Ooh, but Kuma's doing more damage than I thought he would. No. Come on. There we go. Vegeta looks so cool with his Saiyan armor as Super Saiyan. So yeah, when I do get level ups with Vegeta, it's mostly going to be focused on building his HP to be the highest. Come on now. As you see, we're going to get quick work out of Ginyu Force this time. Next up is going to be, I believe, our first fight with Frieza. Or is it Captain Ginyu? No, he had his nap, so it's Frieza. Yeah, Vegeta is not going to deal with Captain Ginyu. He's going straight for the real boss of the operation. Oh, that was just enough distance. Come on. Let me can face my Super Saiyan Swagger. Actually, no. You hate monkeys, Frieza. How do you like this? I'm sure that was very cathartic for the Prince of All Saiyans. As you can see, we have two dots here that we didn't have before. I believe this is the new one we want. I can't send Frieza anywhere! The escape? But there's something coming this way! I wasn't... Ah, my voice sounded real soft right there, no. I wasn't lying. Half the characters in the Jag Universe have a fight against Cooler in some manner. Would it be actually facing him on Namek, or as a battle boy? What? This creature is even more powerful than Frieza, but how? You must be Vegeta. My brother Frieza told me all about you and your little friends. I like how he's like, calling them his friends. Vegeta don't care about them at all. At least not now he don't. I do believe he does want to bring Gohan over to his side eventually. You know, being of the last Saiyans left and all. And that's a lot of damage even if it was in that state. But at this point, Vegeta is so powerful that Cooler ain't gonna make a difference. Oh, I skipped it. Gohan and the. However, the battle is thinking. Yeah, no mention of Cooler at all here. <laughs> and we will keep going. So obviously we're skipping over the fight of Androids 19 and 20. Are you ready, Andro Let me This is too bad. I would have loved to see the Big Bang used against him. Now we have quite a few side events. First we're gonna visit Goku's house over here. Cause I don't know if we did this before. Leave me alone! Is Kakarot in the back? Haha! <laughs> His heart condition seems stabilized. The guy that came from the future was right, then. And you're missing a word on your text screen there. Listen to me, Kakarot! You and I have a score to settle. Once we've dealt with the androids, you're next! You got that? He came all the way to tell us just that? 
Yeah, when we get a random item. Oh no, it's not random. It's always gonna be the vaccine. I forgot. And another random item. I know we're not going to the battle point. Not battle point, but the dot. Instead, we're gonna head to the plane somewhere around here. Because there's another great scene we should take a look at. No, not the mountains. Not the mountains. Here's what I'm looking for. Father, don't underestimate the power. We have to wait. <laughs> you just don't get it. Do and not the scene of Shrugs. And I don't need anyone's help to beat some stinking android. <laughs> Give me a moment of finding the exact location. So here's West City. I might have shown it off before. But yeah, this is how we get Final Flash. Yeah, oh no, we definitely got this before, because I showed it off during the video. To the point where I got my ass kicked by so enough times just to view it. <laughs> and Vegeta doesn't even like the Senju Beams. I'm thinking this might not be accessible until after the fight with the androids. So I made a save and we're fighting them just in case. You say in Okay, Android 17. Even before, he wasn't that bad. Take that. Fuck you, kid. I don't even have to go Super Saiyan. But I will. No. Enough of that. It's over. What I was gonna say. There we go. Come on. Come on, indeed. E e e. No reason to keep saying e e e. I just felt like it. Now is the true revenge for my previous embarrassment. Oh, now you want to get in the way too, do you? Wait, this. Final Scrapman ain't gonna beat me. She is quick for one, though. And you know Vegeta's tend of showing what he can really do. Oh, I was gonna try and use the Big Bang attack. Just as a final screw to the Android HD. But I, I don't think I should risk it. Or should I? Does that require 4 or 5? 5. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Ah, dang it. Okay, almost there. There we go, just keep blasting her. <laughs> now I get rid of the androids. Now let me double check what I was trying to find before. Enormous energy. Piccolo? No, that's absurd. There's no way his power level is stronger than mine. Vegeta, it's time you knew the truth about Cell's identity. When 
android created from all of our cells, and he's even stronger than this new Piccolo? So, suddenly everyone thinks they're better than the most powerful Super Saiyan in the universe. Well, they've got another thing coming, isn't that right, Kakarot? Alright, that was not what I was expecting. I did not know that was there. But that was a nice show. I was just... How arrogant Vegeta is. Is and still is. I don't know why I'm having such a time finding this. I came across it many times before. There's the one. I don't know why this one took me so long to find. And there we go. Vegeta gets like that when Launch sneezes. And this is all for one grand purpose. We are going to Kami House. Yeah, why is Vegeta here we get that? <laughs> yeah, that's funny, like Vegeta actually fears an angry woman. <laughs> Not just Bulma, but actually launch. And right now, let's do a cell. I don't even have to try for this one. This was intended to be a, so, such an easy battle. Take that. Nope. Ooh, I hate Dragon Rush. Get on with it. <laughs> Come on. Drop dead indeed. Ow. Yep, so is screwed. Ooh, he caught me. Defense money gonna save you for long, Android. I just love how I can just cut off the whole advance with just Gallic Gun. Right, this time against Cell, I am not going to bother trying to do the final flash. Cause that's what screwed me up the last time. Come on. No, you don't sell. Oh, I'm gonna love this. Wow, so barely did anything. Indeed, it is. See how damage this does do max attack and max uh Woohoo! That's about as much damage as the Big Bang Kamehameha did against the Mega Shenron. Goku wasn't even maxed out on his stats. <laughs> Anyway, let's see, what kind of time are we at right now? Alright, you know what? We'll handle Vegeta's last boo saga next time. Till then, this is Jargus Gaming. Thanks for watching. Take care.